everybody, it's Rob Chavez uh, here with Reston Diggs, and I had the pleasure of interviewing Dania Epimorsha of Danos Granola. So, uh, Dania, thanks so much for joining us today. I really appreciate your time, right? Uh, you. you were referred to us by multiple people, actually. Yeah. We know that you're at uh, the farmer's market at Lake Ann, mm -hmm. right? And my wife was like, oh my God, I tried it last week with <laughs> some uh, raspberries. It was absolutely delicious. So we knew that we wanted to call you and learn about your story, right? Okay, yeah. um, I love the entrepreneur and I want to understand like how this came about. Why granola? Um, what brought us to this point, right? And um, from speaking to you earlier, this is a new business for you, right? Yeah, January. January. So tell me a little bit about that. Where are you from originally? And 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 bring us to date on how you kind of came up with this concept. Okay. I was uh, born in Lebanon, moved uh, to Reston um, around sixth grade. Okay. Um, have been in Reston ever since. Moved a little bit. Um, then came back to Reston to raise my kids uh, here. So awesome. You know, kids and You're a Restonite. Yeah. <laughs> You've seen this place grow. Yes, yeah. it's changed a lot over the years. But. Absolutely. And you, and you officially launched this, I guess, January this year? Yes. Is that right? Yes. But you've been perfecting this recipe now for some time? It's been at least four years okay. I've been working on this. Um, friends and family have always asked for more granola. I would have jars of people just bring me jars to just refill. <laughs> so and you were like, hey, well, maybe I should do a business out of yeah. it. So tell me about that because you have a, uh, you're an artist. How did you decide, okay, this is officially what I'm going to do? So uh, my, uh, when I went back to get my graduate degree um, in fine arts, um, I was going back between drawing and photography and then started doing some uh, videography as well Okay. Um, and realized the story behind um, food and family mm. and just a person is really important. So mm -hmm. baking somehow became a part of my artwork and I was called the cake lady. I would make cakes, I would have a story so you'd walk into a space, you're listening to the story, you'll be eating cake while you're listening to the story looking at photographs and it kind of re it made me realize how important um, food is and how important baking kind of brings people together. It's something that's a little bit uh, sweet, decadent, kind of brings people to conversations. Tell me a little bit about where you're distributing this at the moment, right? You've got a couple places strategically in Reston, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, where are those places? Uh, we've got the bike lane. Mm -hmm. um, I'm at the Lake Ann Farmer's Market and then in Great Falls, Katie's Coffee. Okay, Katie's Coffee, great. Um, and the farmer's market goes all the way up until September? I believe till December. Wow, yeah. wow, okay, yeah. they've extended it out. That's yeah. global warming for you right yeah. there. No. <laughs> okay, um, so tell me a little bit about where you want to take this business. So I'm uh, actually, as my nine-year-old pointed out, as part of uh, being a business owner, it's really important to give back. So at some point, um, and he had to approve the, the what I would give back to. So it's going to be some sort of a children's organization helping oh, awesome. kids education or food, and then uh, more co more local coffee shops. Um, and hopefully branching out a little bit outside of Reston. So tell me a little bit about where you'd like your product to go, you know, here in Reston and beyond. So for here in Reston, uh, 100 Bowls would be the next place. Okay. Uh, Who would be great for you? Eventually, right. I think Mom's Organic Market mm. would be um, the right place. Okay to have my product. Well, we'll get the word out for you. That would be <laughs> right. awesome, right? They love supporting yeah. uh, small business, right? Mm -hmm. Just like we love supporting yeah. small business. Okay, so let's let's talk a little bit about where are you making this right now? I'm, uh, rent a, I rent out a kitchen in uh, Lake Ann, um, Nordic Knot. Okay. Um, Melissa and Eric have yeah. been a great, great, great support. They're great, help. right? Yeah, they're wonderful. <laughs> Well, it's cool because it's it's entrepreneurs helping entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. business owners helping business owners, right? And yeah. that is a lot of what community is all about, right? Community is about one person helping the other person. Exactly. And, and so, you know, you'll have to pay this forward one day. Yes. For sure. I'm excited about that. It's okay. been really nice to meet all the small business owners like uh, Anne at Bike Lane and Melissa and Eric, and it's, uh, it is such a strong community in Rastaf. And so, which is your most popular? You said this 
uh, dark chocolate, right? Yes. Tell us about that. So this was the original, is that what it's called? So it's uh, the original flavor, um, but it's got dark chocolate added to it. Who doesn't? Yeah, love yeah. Dark chocolate. And uh, the chocolate is uh, also, it's a certified gluten-free, vegan, dark chocolate, so doesn't cause any sensitivities if you're sensitive to that stuff. And it's actual, it's 70% dark chocolate, Ooh, so. Good. It's good. But good stuff. <laughs> it's good stuff. Okay, awesome. Do you want to just stay local? Would you like to expand global, right? I would hope to expand. I'm not sure global, but expand and definitely having some sort of a link to some sort of a nonprofit, and that is something that I feel strongly about. Um, Tie, tying it to tying a nonprofit. It, yeah, yeah. So let's explore that a little bit, right? Where does that come from? Um, I was an art teacher. I worked at a uh, Title I school mm -hmm. um, for a long time, and um, after school, um, I would um, I wrote grants to run an after school program for kids that just needed something uh, to do after school, um, and that was very fulfilling. And when I was in school in Baltimore, I worked um, for an inner city school as well. And you might as well just start breathing reality into it now. <laughs> That's what we find is like, if you have an idea or something like that. You just take a little action today, yeah. right? I think yeah. that's the message. Um, tell me a little bit about the packaging too, because we talked a little bit about that. This is sleek and modern, and um, you said, what was this made out of? Rice paper. Rice paper. It's supposed to be biodegradable. Um, we wanted really clean packaging um, so that it looks modern. It's just it's very simple, and then the hot pink with the, or I guess it's like a magenta kind of pink with the gray keep everything clean looking. Okay. What would you want people to know about you, your family, your business? Is there anything in particular? Look, I put her on the spot. She's like, <laughs> what do um, you want people to know? I love what I do. Okay. <laughs> and um, I've got my family all supporting me. They, they love the product. They love this granola. And they're excited to be kind of part of this. I have mm -hmm. my husband who probably see the market. He's the one who's helping me set up and take down every time. Um, my boys are very involved now. Awesome. Their whole thing is they'll make their own smoothies or whatever way they, they use the granola and photograph it so I can post their pictures. Oh, that's <laughs> Well, great. Well, thank you so much for sharing some time today. Thank right? you so much. How yeah. can people find you? So you can uh, find me on Instagram, um, Dano's Granola. I also, uh, also on the website, danosgranola.com. Um, you can direct email me through there. Yeah. And Dano's is your nickname. That is. Right? Dano's yeah. my nickname yeah. growing up. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for joining thank us. Thank you. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. <laughs>